Hi mamas, I'm Maggie Schott. I'm a team member here at Bojen. Welcome to Express Yourself, the YouTube channel where we share tips, tricks, and all things helpful on your mommying journey. In today's video, I'm going to talk through some of the recommendations and guidelines from the CDC on breast milk storage. You've made the milk, you've pumped the milk, now how do you store it safely? Breast milk is liquid gold and it should be treated as such. You don't want to just pop it into a bottle and throw it into the refrigerator for days on end. It's really important to make sure that you follow the guidelines to make sure that your milk isn't going bad and that it's safe to feed your baby. The CDC and other health organizations have published guidelines for milk collection, milk storage, and thawing it and serving it to your baby to maximize your baby's health. In this video, we're going to go over some of those guidelines and some tips that will help keep your baby safe and make sure that you can use every ounce of that liquid gold that you've pumped. We'll drop links in the description box below. So if you have questions at any point in this video, or if you want more information, you can go ahead and source that information when you need it. So first things first, let's cover expressing your breast milk safely. First and foremost here is cleanliness. You need to wash your hands before you pump, whether you're using a hand pump, whether you're using a um, mechanical pump, an electric pump, whatever you're using, wash your hands. And if you can't access warm water and soap, the CDC recommends using an alcohol-based cleanser that is less than 60% alcohol. A little tricky, but it's an important note here. You also want to make sure that you check your pump parts, the tubing, the bottles, everything to make sure that they're clean, free of mold, free of dirt, um, and that they're ready to go so that once you go ahead and pump that milk, you can store it safely and whether you're using it right away, whether you're putting it in the refrigerator or you're freezing it for future use, we're gonna cover that as well. It's also a good time to check the replaceable parts in your pump, like the tubing, the flanges or valves, these things that tend to wear out over the course of your pumping journey. Um, you don't want these failing in the middle of a pump session. Oh my gosh, that would be terrible. So make sure that everything's ready to go, everything's in working order and it's clean. And lastly, you want to make sure that you've got whatever container you're storing your milk in. Again, whether it's at room temp until you feed your baby, the fridge or the freezer, whatever you're using, make sure that it's safe and that the seal is working. The last thing you want is to pump milk and to freeze it or to put it in the refrigerator and come back later and realize that the seal is broken and that you have to just pitch that entire pump session. That would be terrible. Uh, pro tip here, Bojen offers reusable storage bags on our website. We'll drop the link down below as well. So if you're um, storing milk in your fridge, I mean, it, they work in the freezer too, um, but you can feel good knowing that you're not using something that you're going to toss and pitch. Whatever you're using to store your breast milk in, make sure that you have a label of some kind, whether it's like the actual container itself, you can write right on it, or um, you have some kind of adhesive label and a marker that you can notate when you pumped, and then if you're freezing it, when you thaw the milk. We'll cover that again. Again, being able to write down the time and date that you pumped is super important, more so the date, but uh, it's super important in terms of health and safety for your breast milk. If you want to get a little creative, write some pumping affirmations, jot down a milestone that your baby did that day. Sometimes when you're freezing your breast milk and you go to thaw it out and you see those little notes or um, affirmations, it's just puts a smile on your face. How long will your milk last? This depends on how you store it. So if you are just pumping breast milk and leaving it at room temperature. Now room temperature is considered 77 degrees Fahrenheit or colder. Anything higher than that, the milk could spoil. And that comes straight from the CDC. So if you're leaving it at room temperature, the breast milk tends to be good for about four hours. So you, if you're pumping and you're out and about, um, you can't get home right away, you've got some wiggle room, four hours at room temperature. You also can put it on ice right? So straight from the pump, 
uh, whatever bottle or bag you're putting it in, make sure it's sealed, put it on ice. You can extend that from four hours to 24 hours. Just make sure that you either use it within that time frame or you're putting it at least in the refrigerator or in the freezer after that. When it comes to the refrigerator, four is also, again, the magic number. Refrigerated breast milk, right, from room temperature to refrigeration is good for four days. Now, the trick with, or the, the key thing to remember with a refrigerator is that the temperature within a refrigerator can vary based on where you put your breast milk. So if you have like the shelves in your door, you don't want to store your breast milk there. It won't be as cold. The best is to try to find somewhere in the middle of your refrigerator towards the back so it's not going to spill um, and that you can ensure that you are storing it at the temperature that your refrigerator is set to. Anywhere else and it might be a little bit warmer or just have variations that you can't control with your family opening and closing the fridge all day long. So middle to back of the refrigerator is the best place to go ahead and store your breast milk there. Moms often have questions about combining breast milk from different sessions, and you can do this. There are just a couple of caveats to doing it. So let's say I pumped milk yesterday, and I have it stored in the refrigerator. Now I pump milk today. I can add the breast milk from today's session to yesterday's leftover breast milk in the refrigerator if I put it in the refrigerator and let it reach the same temperature, let it cool down, then I can combine it. And I need to go by yesterday's date. So you always go by the oldest date that milk could possibly be left in that container by. So if it's three days later and you're going to combine milk in, it's only going to be good for that one extra day. Because remember, four days is the amount of time that breast milk is safe in a refrigerator and sealed. You should freezing your breast milk. This is a little bit different. So it was four hours from, from room temp, four days in a refrigerator. Once you thaw breast milk, you have 24 hours to use it. It, has, it short, shortens that usable shelf life while you can leave it in your freezer for a longer period of time. Once it is thawed, it needs to be used faster. And that's even if it's put in the refrigerator. The refrigerator does not lengthen that 24 hour time frame that thawed breast milk is good for. A couple of tips. Make sure that when you are pulling it out of your freezer that the seal is still good. In addition to the date that you pumped that milk, now you want to write the date that you're thawing it, right? Because if you're busy and you go to grab a, a container of breast milk from your fridge and you can't remember if it was from yesterday or if it's from today, if it's still good or, or what that you know looks, time frame looks like, if you write it down, it's one less thing you have to remember. Also, it's helpful when you're freezing breast milk to freeze it in smaller quantities because it is only good for that 24 hour window. So you don't want to store or thaw out like three days worth of breast milk. It's just gonna go bad or it's gonna go past that expiration time period. And you don't wanna, that, that's just, no mom wants to do that. So the sources on how long, they differ on how long you can actually freeze breast milk for. Some sources say 12 months, some sources say six months. Um, it all depends on what your stash looks like, how much supply you have and mama's, if you don't have enough breast milk to store in your freezer for 12 months, that's okay, that's normal, and that's healthy. At Bojan, we believe you should feed your baby, not your freezer. So if you have a great, a big freezer stash, that's great. If you don't, please don't put pressure on yourself. There are, Lord knows you have enough going on in your life, just you know, worry about, you should not be um, adding to that because you don't have the same size freezer stash as another woman. Please, please, please treat yourself with grace and accept what, that what your body is doing and that what you are doing and the hard work you're putting in is enough and it is an amazing thing that you're doing for your child. So thank you and thank yourself. Also, if you're going by like that, you know, what's safe in the freezer and how long or, you know, it's just a good habit to get into if you're putting milk in the freezer that you rotate it through. So when you put milk in, maybe put it towards the back of your breast milk collection so that when you thaw, you're taking the oldest pumped milk and thawing that so that you don't have to worry as much about uh, that six to 12 month window. A pro tip is also to, especially if you're using a sealable bag, uh, to lay it flat 
and not fill it up all the way. So breast milk expands when it freezes and if you fill the bag to the top, it's going to burst the seal and that milk will be bad. Generally, there is a line on the bag that is like a safe uh, kind of threshold uh, so that you can still have room, enough room for the breast milk to expand. So lay it flat, uh, it, it kind of freezes into that nice rectangular shape rather than like a lump. It's easier to label, it's easier to store, you're not having an avalanche of breast milk when you open your freezer um, or trying to, you know, keep it organized. It's just a lot easier to handle if it's, it's in that flat brick, so to speak. Also, if your breast milk changes colors when it freezes, that's totally okay. The color of your breast milk doesn't, isn't an indicator as to whether it's freezer, it's safe in the freezer or not. Um, if it yellowed a little bit or it has a different tinge or hue of a color, that's totally okay. Just if you're worried about whether it's safe or not, go buy all those other things. You know, did you get into the habit of washing your hands and your pump parts and everything? Did you make sure that it is in a tightly sealed container? Did you date it? All those other things. That's what you want to go buy for whether your milk is safe. Sawing breast milk. Okay. Just because you froze it doesn't mean that it's guaranteed to be safe. We just went all, over all the things that you need to, to go through. Um, again, when you go to thaw it out, check that seal, make sure that it's still good, and then only thaw enough to use within 24 hours. So thawing is a practice in and of itself. There are three ways that you can safely thaw your breast milk. The first and easiest way is to take it out of the freezer and put it in your refrigerator overnight. Downside to that is that is 12 hours of your 24 hour safe period or, or window. When you wake in the morning, you will have milk that you can warm up and serve to your baby, uh, but you need to be able to use it within that 12 hour day window. The Next is if you forget to thaw it in the refrigerator or you want the full 24 hour window, you can take the frozen bottle or bag of milk and put it in a container of lukewarm water. So that water will heat up or thaw the breast milk a lot faster, but in a safe manner. And then once it's brought up to room temperature, again, um, it needs to be used or discarded within two hours. So that window shortens once it's um, thawed. So you can thaw it in the refrigerator, it's good for 24 hours. Then, or um, if you use some kind of method like lukewarm water to heat up the breast milk, then it's only good for two hours, two. This is another reason why it's really good idea to store your milk in small quantities. Ways to not thaw your breast milk. Do not microwave it. While it might sound like a good shortcut, microwaving breast milk damages and destroys the nutrients that are contained in your milk. So you are totally negating the whole reason that you're doing this extra work if you are heating the milk in the microwave. So don't kind of use any sort of like flash heat to thaw it out. You can use bottle warmers and things like that uh, to heat up refrigerated breast milk and bring it to a warm temperature to save to serve to your baby do not do not microwave your breast milk also it can create hot spots so it doesn't heat the milk evenly and there will while it might feel like it's an okay temperature the microwave can create hot spots like pockets of extra hot milk that can actually burn your baby's mouth which is just horribly sad to think about <sighs> okay so <laughs> we've pumped it we've stored it maybe thought it depending on whether uh, we froze it or not. Now, how to serve it to your baby. You can absolutely take a bottle out of your refrigerator and give it to your baby. It's totally safe. It's been kept safe and sealed so far. Um, the question is whether they'll take it or not. Some get a little finicky and don't like cold milk and that's why we heat it up. Or we would, you know, we think, it's nice to drink something warm rather than cold, but you can totally do it cold, especially like you forget a bottle warmer or something, you don't have the time, you're running late, you can totally feed your baby cold milk, that's okay. Uh, bottle warmers are another great uh, way to heat up your breast milk and just like 
fill your bottle, pop it in the bottle warmer. Some bottle warmers or some bottle systems you need to pay attention to. Like I had, I think the Doc Brown um, bottles and they didn't really work that well with the bottle warmer. You had to go through an extra step where like you took the um, anti-colic thing out of the center of them. So double check or do a quick Google search on the bottles that you're using and the bottle warmer that you've been gifted or that you purchased just to make sure that you're not wasting breast milk. Ours kind of frothed and bubbled over and then you have to clean a lot more than the bottles and parts that you already are cleaning. So just a caveat there. Bottle warmers are great. I'm not dissing bottle warmers, but just uh, make sure that you're using them the right way and like we did at first. So there are other ways that you can warm up the bottle. You can put water into a, a pot and place your sealed breast milk container in the pot and use warm water to gently heat it. Uh, but make sure that you're testing out the temperature of the milk before you feed it to your baby so that you're not feeding them milk that you've overheated. You can do this by just putting a few, a little, a few drops or a squirt or so of the milk on your wrist, um, some skin that's more sensitive and that's a good judge of whether it's good to feed your baby or not. So once you've got it warmed up and it's in the bottle and you're ready to feed it to your baby, swirl it around a couple times, like swish it around just gently a few times to mix in the fat uh, with the rest of the milk. Don't shake it, especially if your baby is already having an upset tummy or something like that. Shaking it can introduce gas bubbles into your milk and it can cause your baby to have an upset tummy if you're shaking the milk and they're drinking all of the bubbles and everything. So again, once you warm up that bottle and you go to feed it to your baby, they might not be ready. They might not want the whole thing. You can set it aside for a little bit and try again later, but just make sure you're within that safe two hour window. So if you have any questions on how our products like the reusable milk bags work, how the breast pump cushions work, how to clean them to make sure that uh, your milk is safe with the cushions because you do not want to use heat to sterilize them. We have another video on how to clean the cushions. We'll link to that as well. Please reach out to our mommy care team using the email pumped at bojen.com. Drop questions in the comments below this video. Please also like this video and subscribe to our YouTube channel so that you get notified when we produce some more content like this, which we will be doing on the regular. So stay pumped um, and stick around with Bojen. Thanks, mamas. Have a great day. Thank you.